Hello and welcome to Go Fund Yourself, where we review the best and worst projects from around the internet, bring them to you, and allow you to decide if you want to waste your money on them or not. My name is Brian Clayton. And I'm Roman Burkott. And today we've got a special one, the Barisier. Ooh la la. I know, right? <laughs> now I've heard of a lot of different mashups. You have all kinds of them out there where they'll take two separate products, ram them into one, and make a new product out of them. So overall, the idea is to take an alarm clock, a coffee maker, or tea maker, sure. put them together, put them right next to your nightstand, so you'll have piping fresh beverage right when you wake up. Sure, I have long wished that I could have a cup of coffee before I even get out of bed. I am too lazy to get my ass out of this bed to go into the kitchen to get my coffee. I need my coffee right here next to the bed. And this does do a pour over. It pumps the, the hot water up, over, and on top, uh, on top of the grounds, which then drips down into your little fancy cup. Also, it was interesting that they, they provided a cream receptacle where you'd have your cream. Now the cream, I didn't see that was actually refrigerated. So you're gonna be leaving your cream overnight. So hopefully it's a non-dairy type creamer. I wish my clock <laughs> cream receptacle. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> it looks kind of like a hotel solution. You know, the, the little trays and things like that. <laughs> you know, I could see, you know, if I'm digging that stuff out on my uh, on my nightstand, it's just going to be a hot mess. Safety is definitely a concern for me. So I know that I can be somewhat aggressive in trying to snooze my alarm. I think the industrial design is uh, overall kind of attractive, yet it also uh, somehow looks like a science experiment or a meth lab. I, I'm not really sure. The project is right now on Kickstarter, has 882 backers for about $334,000 worth of pledge. Now, Father Christmas! I know, people really <laughs> want coffee on their bedside. <laughs> but, uh, but they still need $500,000 to actually make this a reality. <laughs> yeah, I could definitely see this being a great solution if you're kind of more in a studio apartment, you don't have a lot of room. You're like, man, I only have one table. Ugh, what am I gonna do? I got a coffee maker and an alarm clock. Bam! Put them together. Coffee maker in alarm clock. <laughs> saving space. Saving time. Saving not much money, though. You're not going to save much money. It looks like the Barisura is going to cost you about 250 pounds. I'm not sure what that is American, but I'm probably sure it's upwards of about 300 bucks. I don't think that the Barisura is for me. No? No. Yeah, I don't think so either. It's, you know, at the price point of almost $300, I don't see there really being a need for this. Also, I'm just concerned with the coffee quality. And uh, to be quite honest, I just don't need coffee that close to my bed. I mean, hell, that thing spills over and all of a sudden you get uh, third degree burns getting out, of bre getting out of bed. Now, you may not be able to get coffee next to your bed right now, but you can get more of Go Fund Yourself by clicking the subscribe button down below. Also, if you have a product that you would like us to review, please leave that in the comment section below also. With that being said, my name is Brian Clayton. I'm Roman Burkott. Thanks for joining us for this episode of Go Fund Yourself.